Hey, 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 it's your favorite remote work enthusiast, Delilah. And in today's video, I'm gonna share some hot work from home night jobs with y'all. You guys love working at night. This is like one of the top requested types of positions that I get on my channel. I don't know about y'all, but I have to be in bed at a decent hour. But some of you guys, you know, like to burn the midnight oil and you wanna be up all throughout the night. You wanna be hanging out with the owls and that's not my business. I just need to give you guys some weeds that you can actually apply to. So that is exactly what I'm gonna do in today's video. And I'm actually gonna go over some open positions. At the time that I'm filming these, these are open positions, but they may not be open when you look, but at least you know who is hiring. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and jump in. Please make sure you're subscribed and you have those notifications turned on. And once you take care of that business, we'll be ready to jump in. All right, let's go ahead and jump in. I'm really excited to share these nighttime opportunities with y'all. Now I have to note, some of these leads are limited in location and you just wanna confirm that your state is available. I do have a couple of US wide opportunities. So everyone in the US has something to choose from, but not all of these will work for every location. Now jumping in here, the very first company that I'm gonna share is a fine jewelry company called Bobble Bar. And when I I saw this lead, I was like, this is perfect because yesterday I posted a video about seasonal online jobs. And what you guys were saying in the comments were like, this is great, but can you find something that is nighttime, part-time and seasonal? And I was like, oh boy. And guess what? <laughs> Bobble bar has that. Now, in order for you to get to this lead, okay, let me back it up here. You have to go directly to their careers page and each lead doesn't have its own URL. So from the careers page, you'll need to just find the one that says seasonal part-time customer care, night slash weekends, click on that. And then you can see the lead and you'll also see the link to apply now to it. Now, this opportunity is available in New York for sure. That's where the company is located. It is remote, but they don't mention anywhere about if you can do it outside of New York or if it's just for New York. So I will leave that up to you guys. The worst case scenario, if you're not in New York and you apply, if they don't hire in your area, then you just won't get hired. So you guys can do what you want to do. Now, this opportunity should pay about $22.33. And I got this information from their Glassdoor account when I was looking through it. The customer experience associate makes about this much per year. And keep in mind, this is part time. So that hourly pay doesn't sound too bad. Now, this is an opportunity that will provide at least 30 hours per week. And your shift would be from 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it is required that you work overnight and weekend shifts, which isn't a problem. You know, that's why y'all are here. And the peak is going to be between 1124 and 1129, which we know what that week is. I don't even know if they call it just Black Friday, maybe it's Black Friday week, you know, just all those deals. And this temporary position is for 12 to 14 weeks. Now you don't need to have a bachelor's degree, but you do need to have experience in retail or e-commerce. So that is the lead from Bobble Bar. The apply now button is at the bottom and I already know you guys are going to shut this one down. Next up is a company called Wex. This is a financial technology service provider, and it says that they're the leading financial technology service provider, and they're in fleet travel and healthcare. Now, they have a fraud specialist transaction monitoring position that's full-time. It's available US-wide, and this opportunity, according to what they tell us down here, is going to pay somewhere between $16 and $21.50 per hour. And I told y'all many, many times, I'm not even trying to look at the low end anymore. If they told us they have 2150, that's what we need to be getting paid, okay? <laughs> now, that's about $860 per week, which isn't bad at all. And they do tell us that this is a third shift opportunity, but they don't give us specifics for hours. What we do know is that most companies, if they do offer third shift, that is usually like their latest shift. They might have one more after that, but we do know that night hours are involved in this. And to qualify for this opportunity, you can have a bachelor's degree or equivalent experience. And they go on to say that that experience would be three years in financial slash payment services industry or equivalent. 
and you need to have computer skills and applications, including but not limited to Microsoft Suite, Excel, PowerPoint, Salesforce, and being able to work independently. So that is the lead from Wex. If you're interested, definitely come through and look at, you know, all the details, but you would have to review and respond to suspected fraudulent service request and, you know, handle those things accordingly. So let's move on to the third company. All right, the third company is another financial institution. This is a credit union. This is called Mountain America, and they are hiring in Utah, Nevada, Idaho, Montana, Arizona, and New Mexico. So I know, extremely limited, okay? Now, this opportunity is going to pay about $17 per hour, which is $680 per week, and this is a full-time role. And the hours for this opportunity are Monday through Friday, 12.30 p.m. to 9 p.m. And one of the things that I found really unique about this is usually training is traditional business hours, like nine to five or eight to four. This is one of the only trainings that I've seen that isn't quite traditional hours. It's from 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Friday. So I know it's not exactly like, you know, the late hours, but it's close to the shift that you would be servicing anyhow. And if you work after 6 p.m., you will get a $1 differential in your pay. So your pay would actually be $18 per hour from 6 p.m. and beyond. And as far as the requirements for this position go, it doesn't mention any of that. <laughs> So maybe this could be no experience friendly. I'm not going to be the one to say that, but you know, if you guys don't have experience and you're interested, then I don't see anything wrong with getting your application in. So definitely check out Mountain America Credit Union. All right, so jumping into the fourth company here is a company called Mayo Clinic. Now I shared this company about three or so weeks ago and during my research then, I found out that this is like the number one hospital in the United States. And, and if they're not, they are highly esteemed. So this would be an amazing resume booster. Like if you can get them on your resume, that would be a really awesome thing. Now they have a full-time opportunity for their client solutions technical coordinator one position. This is available US wide and they tell us a lot of information. So I'm going to try and, you know, give you guys just the most important pieces for you guys to know if you want to come here and, and dig into it further. Now they tell us that the pay range for this is between $22 and 24 cents to $32 and 30 30 cents per hour. Now that's a good amount, okay? Whether you're on the low end or the high end, but here's how that differentiates. And this is, you know, our tip of the day. One of the things we would just want to take away, you know, if you were to say, well, give me the low end, you would be bringing home about $896 per week. But if you say, I have the confidence to ask for what they tell me they can pay, that would be $1,296 take home pay per week. The difference is 400 bucks a week. And that adds up to $1,600 a month just for asking for the high end versus the low end. So I can't tell y'all what to do, okay? I know I've been telling you guys this, but you do want to make sure that you are getting paid what you believe you are worth. And I will leave it at that. Now, this opportunity is a night shift opportunity. They tell us the different shifts that they have available and they tell us multiple times in this lead that you need to make it clear in your cover letter what your shift preference is. So you absolutely need a cover letter, but I tell you guys that all the time. So they have a Sunday through Wednesday, 4 p.m. to 2.30 a.m. Central Time roll. There's a Wednesday through Saturday, 4 p.m. to 2.30 a.m. Central Standard Time roll. And then there's a Saturday through Tuesday, 9.30 p.m p.m. to 8 a.m. Central Standard Time roll. So you would just want to make sure that you choose the shift for you. And there are additional payments if you choose specific shifts. So I won't get into the weeds of all of that, but definitely if you're interested, come here and read through the entire thing. Now, what you would be doing in this role is you'll be part of a team that is a certified center of excellence through Benchmark Portal. You will provide high quality service in a high stress environment to a multi-site enterprise that continues to evolve in complexity. And you'll be supporting the following departments. So they list a multitude of departments that you'd be supporting. So they do offer for really late opportunities and rate pay. So definitely check out Mayo Clinic. 
And then the fifth and final company that I'm going to share that offers night hours is another credit union called PSCU. Now they have a contact center supervisor role that is full time that's going to pay according to them if we scroll down anywhere from 42,400 to 59,400 per year. Now I already showed y'all when we were looking at the previous lead how big of a difference it is when you decide to take the low end versus the top end but going with what we want to do get paid the absolute most that could be about $1,188 per week take home pay. So the pay would be really good. And remember, this is a supervisor role. Now, I definitely wanted to share this because the supervisory expectations weren't really because the requirements to do this role weren't, you know, crazy. So education wise, an associate's degree or equivalent combination of education and or experience required. So you can use your experience as a substitute if you don't have an associate. And it says the experience specifications, three years of customer service experience required, two years of credit card, branch services, lending, bill pay, financial industry, and or contact center experience required. And then prior supervisory experience strongly preferred. So we know what that word means. These are the things that we really wanna make sure we show up with. Now that's not too bad at all. And the hours for this role are 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time with Tuesdays and Saturdays off. And your responsibilities would be providing direction and leadership to staff, handling interviewing, hiring promotions, transfers, develop and maintain all subordinate personnel by applying the necessary training and leadership and direct staff to ensure duties are performed according to departmental performance standards. So that's what you would be doing. Of course, they have a lot more detail for you here, but got to give you guys just the gist, okay? So those are the five nighttime work from home offers opportunities. I'm sure something works for somebody, but if not, at least it's a good jumping off point. Now, the next thing that I want you to jump over to, okay, because I'm about to tell you about my free resources. The very first thing is my free workshop, the ready to work from home workshop. This is a 40 minute workshop where I go over all the things that you would need to know if you were starting off knowing nothing about work from home and getting hired and what it takes and what you need. Okay, this is for the people who really are ready to get hired to make money from home, but you're not really sure what you need to do first. I've been working from home since 2016 and I have a lot of information that it does me no good to keep. So I share it with you in this workshop. Make sure you have something to take notes with. All you need to do is put in your name and email address, hit the register button, and a workshop starts every 15 minutes. So you never have to wait more than 15 minutes to enter the workshop room and make sure you stay until the end because you really will get a lot out of it. It's just 40 minutes, you guys. And then after that, you're going to be fired up to get your application in. You want to go over to my website, remoteworklife.co and check out my amazing resource called the mega list of jobs. There are 446 companies on this list that all hire to work from home. So you can find out about companies that maybe you don't really see all the time in the job boards and they are real companies. You can check out their Glassdoor account and I'll verify them and everything. I encourage you to do that, but you can go directly to their careers pages and see what they have to offer. And people tell me all the time, Delilah, I went to the Megalist Jobs. I found a company and I got hired. So make sure you bookmark this page and check back often. Make it part of your work from home job search routine. And then finally, if you need equipment for your home office, office, I have an Amazon storefront that has really economical pieces of equipment in it. Something that everyone needs to work from home is the right computer setup. And you can get the whole hookup for just $135. Just about every company requires you to have something that runs Windows 10, this computer and all these have it. Most companies say you need at least a 19 inch monitor check. And then a lot of them say, well, you need wired keyboard and mouse. And I had totally forgotten. I had done an opportunity years ago where the software wasn't compatible with wireless keyboards and mouses. So that could be the reason why you have to have a wired one. I forgot all about that, but this is wired. So all of these meet those requirements. So definitely check out my Amazon storefront, you know, 135 bucks. You cannot beat that. If you need the dual monitors, they have something very reasonable too. I also have headsets in case you need a USB headset. You can come over here and check out what they have. You can get one for 10 bucks, 10 bucks, and it has 
cool lights on it. Okay, if you don't like the lights, then they have some other ones too. So definitely check out my Amazon storefront, the mega list of jobs, the ready to work from home workshop. And of course, all the links to these opportunities will be in the description box below. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope this was helpful and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.